Lillian SUWANRUMPHA AFP for the past two weeks, much of the nation has mobilized to protest the systemic racism and police brutality that has victimized black communities for decades. And over the course of those two weeks, sports figures have come under fire for their own apparent racism. Iowa strength coach Chris Doyle was placed on administrative leave after allegations of racism. Bills rookie quarterback Jake Frum apologized for leaked text messages about elite white people owning guns. And Clemson coach Dabo Swinney was criticized for wearing a Football Matters shirt while Black Lives Matter rallies were being held nationwide. You can add CrossFit to that list. CrossFit CEO Greg Glassman sparked outrage this weekend when the 63-year-old founder of the branded workout program posted a racist tweet mocking the murder of George Floyd and the current coronavirus pandemic. In response to a tweet from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, which called racism a public health issue, Glassman replied, it's Floyd 19. The tweet immediately drew a harsh reaction throughout the CrossFit community with sponsor, Reebok, announcing that the brand would end its partnership with CrossFit in 2020 once their contract expires. Reebok said via Business Insider, Recently, we have been in discussions regarding a new agreement, however, in light of recent events, we have made the decision to end our partnership with CrossFit HQ. We will fulfill our remaining contractual obligations in 2020. We owe this to the CrossFit Games competitors, fans and the community. May other affiliate gyms, which pay to use the CrossFit name, announced that they would be ending their affiliations with the CrossFit brand. Glassman eventually doubled down on the tweet. Blogs, CrossFit, Active.